Google recently introduced the ability to insert a live chart from Sheets into a Google Doc or into Google Slides. And if you're a salesperson who does a lot of quoting, this can actually be a benefit. So if you're typically doing a quote in a doc and you have a lot of line items, what you might do is go into a Google Sheet, put in all your line items, do all your calculations using the capabilities of the spreadsheet, and then copy the spreadsheet and paste it into your document, surround it with all your narrative and terms and conditions, and then send it out, which is fine. But the problem is that if you change a value here, that this will not automatically update your bottom line figure. If you add any new rows, that's not going to work either. So what you can do is, I'm going to just delete this table here, is you can go into your document, you can select a range, and I've got a little extra two rows here with a little cheater character, I'll explain that in a second. And what I can do now is I can say insert chart and go and select a chart type of table. And you'll see it's a little raw, it's fairly unformatted. In fact, I've indented the line items to differentiate them from the section headers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and insert that into here and stretch it out a bit. And what I'm actually gonna do here is stretch out my screen so I can stretch it out even more. And I'll bring this back. And now go into the dock and say insert chart and select from sheets. And here's the sheet we're working on. So I just have to select that. And then select the chart and import it. And so now what I've got is my, my Google Sheets table in here. And it's, and it's live linked until I until I actually disconnect it by clicking this. It's associated with the Google Sheet. So if something changes, so for example, if I go in here and I change this quantity from 24 to say 18, and that'll recalculate my bottom line price to 23k here. And now go into back in the spreadsheet. I'll see there's an update button, and clicking on that update button will update this amount and also update the bottom line figure. So that way I don't need to go back uh, and recopy, repaste the table every, every time a change is made. So it's not a perfect solution, but if you are in a situation where you're continually tweaking the table within a Google Doc, this is a better way to handle that. And of course, if you decide that you want to download as a PDF, this will display properly in the PDF as well.